Benny Alfie D'Souza. You are a music. He's my godfather. Who? Alfie. Alfie is your godfather. So I always, uh, you know, uh, I used to be in touch with him always, and uh, yeah, he was a Bombay guy. But we want to know about you. Uh, yeah. So, so you are a music teacher from Bombay, basically. Yeah, and, basically uh, I am from ba Bombay. You, you've had centers at Kolaba, uh, Baikala, Vadala, Vikroli, and Banduk. Yes, yeah. Uh, tell and us. I, I teach uh, guitar, uh, violin, and the keyboards. All three. Yeah, with uh, uh, music notations. I send the students to uh, El, El Trinity College. Trinity College uh, exams, not very uh, high. Thing high, but just uh, second or third okay. uh, grade and all that. Uh, How many years you've been in it? I am here since uh, 20 years now. 20 years. Yeah, and remember. before that? Before that, I was into a full-time job in uh, uh, administration, okay. sales, marketing and all. And in 2000, I decided to, you know, do a shift. Since I knew uh, yeah. music, I said, let me try my... And my daughter, Vanessa, uh, she was in this, uh, you know, uh, she helped me along. I see. Yeah. She I gave see. me the first... Uh, Introduction to a, uh, you know, a, 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 what do you call this, tuition bureau. I see. They have tuition bureaus in Bombay. Yeah, they have bureaus in Bombay. And this guy, he said, uh, it was the owner, he said, uh, let me uh, uh, send your dad. And, you know, I'd like to speak to him. And uh, How difficult or how easy is it to teach music in Bombay? What are the challenges? It's, uh, it's easy to teach music, it's not very hard as such. And uh, there's plenty of scope in Bombay. Students, because, uh, students yeah, are there? Lots of students are taking, even non-Christians uh, yeah. are nowadays very fond of uh, Western, yeah, Western, Western music. music and all that. And they prefer Western uh, music to, the youngsters. Hindi, yeah, to Hindi music. Yeah. And even in the, uh, you know, in the prestigious schools and all in Bombay, like, you know, Bombay Scottish or yeah. Campion or anything, they prefer the English, you know, songs and rather yeah. than uh, they made it a kind of uh, a mandatory even not to you know uh, teach Hindi songs but to teach English uh, songs. And there and the number of students are probably higher also because it's more concentrated and not like Goa where it's a very scattered out place no in that sense uh, would you say uh, would you agree? It is uh, no I don't I don't understand. Uh, it's easier to get students because there are more of them. Yes yes it's easier to get students uh, and um, now, of course, uh, music in Bombay is more uh, commercial in the sense that there's a lot of uh, advertising and all that. Uh, yeah. In the, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Commercial advertising. So, yeah, so commercial advertising. So, uh, so much so that even if you're not that uh, smart in music, you can get business by advertising. Yeah. You know, because uh, the, uh, the students and all, Many of them, they hardly know anything of music. So, right. uh, so many people, you know, they just uh, go in the garb of being a teacher and all that. And, you know, they, they know a bit of music and with advertising, they get into it. So, would you still see Goans having a, a toehold in this field in places like Bombay and all that? Very much. Very much? Yeah, music very much. teaching? Yeah. In fact, uh, Goans are uh, known to be music uh, conscious, uh, music literate and, you know, yeah. and so people prefer Goans. They have their reputation, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they prefer Christians to others yeah. and all that. Uh, I've seen in many instances that uh, uh, many people, you know, uh, they preferred me to I see. the others around, you know. They even waited for me to <laughs> to come to, you know, they took time off patiently so that, you know, I... Uh, how did you get into music? It just was as I said, my up. daughter, she was into... No, no, no. Uh, how did you learn music? He, oh, how did I learn? Okay, my father was a musician. And, uh, way back in uh, the 50s and uh, he was uh, uh, he was uh, working the sign music association that's the sign sign c i n e that was sign. bollywood music film line i see film line it was known as the sign music association okay and he was a violinist what was his name uh, mr john matthias de souza and he was uh, uh, he was under the uh, directors like you know uh, Opi Nair and uh, Shankar Jai Kishan and uh, many other leading, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Now these guys were mainly, they didn't know much of music. The arrangers would, arrangers would be yeah, gone. The arrangers would be gone. There was a famous arranger called uh, uh, D'Souza, Sebastian D'Souza. Sebastian D'Souza. His son is still there, I think, now. He's no more. 
So this guy was a very famous uh, arranger. He was under Shankar Jai Kishan and all that. Uh, so I learned the violin through him, my wife. Uh, through my dad. Yeah. And of course, it was not the easy way around. I learned it very, you know, in a very, uh, uh, he used to be very tough, strict. strict with me and all that. Nowadays, you know, students are, you know, very lax and all that. Yeah. So he was very strict to me and I'm very thankful that he was very strict. Because had he not been strict, then maybe I would take it very easy and I wouldn't have learnt much of me. So uh, after I learnt uh, the violin, then I easily learnt the guitar. I see. And uh, I kept on that tradition of playing and you know, uh, amateur parties yeah. and picnics and people would call me for all that stuff and all. And uh, unlike others who you know, gave away and you know, uh, lost track of music even after learning and all. Yeah. I kept it up. I never gave I up. See. Yeah, I used to work in a full-time job. Yeah, and I would come home and start playing the violin or the guitar. This is know. in which part of Bombay? Were this you was then? in Baikala. Baikala. Yeah, Gloria Church. Gloria yeah. Church. So. Which was uh, a big Goan settlement at one stage, no? Yeah, it was. It was. Mazgaon was very near to. Yeah. Baikala, so there were concentration of uh, Goans over there, and uh, so. I, I was working till 2000. I see. Then at 2000, you know, I decided let's, you know, take I a know break. music, yeah. take a break. So my daughter was just, uh, she had a job and all that. Yeah. And she happened to be working part-time with the bureau, you know, uh, tutor's bureau. So he, as I said, he asked. And uh, he said, send your father with the guitar and all that. Yeah. I'd like to see him. So I went up, it was in a building right up on the fourth floor. I took the guitar. This is all. where? This is at uh, Crawford Market. Crawford Market. Yeah. He had his office there in a, you know, old building. Yeah. And uh, he uh, said, come on, when I came to the office, sit down and sing a song. And he sat there and I sang, uh, if I remember, I sang uh, Jamaican Farewell. I see. <laughs> and by Harry Belafonte. So he said, okay, I'll give you some tuitions and all to go to households and all. You know. I see. Will you do it? I said, yeah. I said, I don't mind if I... So he said, uh, while I was working, then he kept sending me to places like in Malabar Hill and, you know, I see. Posh, yeah, uh, posh areas. areas and all. And I was, uh, he was keeping about one, uh, one third and giving okay. me the rest and all. That time the rate was quite low. Yeah. 2000. It was about uh, 200, 250 per, per lesson. lesson and all that. So then I found that I'm earning a uh, bit. So as I kept on teaching, then people came to know me directly. I see. You know, they give the number, Correct. okay, go to this sir and this user and all that. Yeah. So, and uh, I got calls directly. So, I didn't have to give anything to him. So, I kept the whole amount to me. He didn't know that I was... Right. Uh, so, then, you know, it went on. And then I started at my at my own home in Baikla. Yeah. I have a big, fairly big place in okay. our old building. And then it happened that the, the Navy, that is, uh, uh, you know, the dockyard, in Kulaba. They happened to know. And uh, a big, huge group of, you know, Navy people would come, you know. They have the band and things like that. Yeah, no? so band. they were very fond of, you know, guitar, the youngsters yeah. and all. And they would come, okay. you know, to my... They would come in a big group, I like, see. you know, about, you know, 10, 12 of them. I see. And... Uh, These were cadets, I, not their children. Cadets, uh, no, naval no, the, cadets. Cadets and even those... Uh, children. Were, no, no, not the children. Okay. The officers, cadets, officers yeah, and everyone. Who are so working then... There. Uh, Luckily, I had a big house and my dinner table, I would keep my keyboard and all that <laughs> there and they would all sit, you know, very enthusiastically I see. and uh, when I would play chords, they would be very, you know, happy and I you know, see. Say, Kaise and uh, then my wife was cooking at one corner <laughs> and she said, what is this and all that, you know, so many big, big, huge guys, right. you know, coming and my house used to be full of, you know, students. I see. Then I said, I must have a place now. Because I can't go on like yeah. this, so yeah. uh, I went to YMCA Kulaba and yeah. know, I heard that they used to conduct uh, music, music classes. classes and all. But no more, but I said, we'll restart. I see. I spoke to the secretary and all that. And he said, you know, he was not very happy. He said, no, no, we are a sports-oriented thing and all that. I said, we'll give it a try, so he would, you know, yeah. he would uh, uh, resist me every time I went. But I right. kept on, you know. Yeah. Eventually, he gave in. I see. I started my class. And at that time, just a few uh, students would come, you know. Yeah. Because it was not known, well known. Then I started putting some pamphlets right. in the, right. the thing. 
and uh, uh, it uh, ultimately slowly people began yeah you know coming like students began coming okay. schools were nearby campaign and all those they would be coming slowly then i would get many students yeah. about 10 12 15 I see. then i started hiring i see and then you started working with other groups like seva niketan uh... yeah then i i contacted seva niketan yeah they said you can start there father said vadala youth center youth welfare center and uh, vikroli yeah and bandu yeah and slowly that. then the other ymcas are the branches in bandra yeah. and you know interesting uh, yeah and uh, there also a lot of students would come and i had my assistants here teachers you know and it was the year uh, 2008 my go- daughter got married that year okay. and all that and i came to uh, go for a holiday i stayed in the motel and i was thinking i'll start something in goa also you know i was right. really enthusiastic right. about it but uh, in 2009 unfortunately my wife developed cancer oh. breast cancer so sorry and two years later she died i see and then i felt a little depressed yeah. and i couldn't you know i said uh, i see i focused only in bombay right so, and uh, you my, can still you can still come down yeah, some day who knows my sales also knows? dropped and all that you know yeah. and all that so yeah. but you can still come down some day who knows yeah yeah okay so uh, that is that and uh, Uh, now I'm again, you know, back on track. Let's say that way. Very good. And uh, I get a lot of uh, students calling me up even now. Online, the, online teaching. Online, no, online. I, I, I'm not. Okay. I, I prefer physical yeah. classes yeah. and all that. But online also has its market in that sense. Yes, right? it has. It has. For some instruments, I guess I don't know. But I don't know why I don't find it very appealing and all that. So I. Yeah. Uh, I took a break for almost okay. uh, one and a half year. Pandemic. And yeah, pandemic and all that. And right. uh, now again, it is. restarting Great. yeah so i'm happy that i've come back on track and uh, and uh, nothing has happened to me also right. in the pandemic also right. many of my friends passed away yeah, we have to we have to be grateful in that area of right. musicians died in that yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the best michael thank you so much and uh, benny 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 yeah, benny sorry yeah, yeah, benny benny thanks so much and looking forward to some initiatives in goa also maybe yes, some day yes thank you so much for all the you best. Know, uh, inviting me and uh, taking this interview no, no, that pleasure, uh, pleasure, yeah pleasure yeah. thank you thank you yeah